for as long as humans have existed, we have gazed up at the stars. As science and technology have advanced, we have been able to look deeper and deeper into space and learn more and more about the universe we live in. Once, the stars seemed countless and the universe infinite. Today, we believe that there are approximately 50,000 billion billion stars in a universe so big that it would take 150 billion years to cross it at the speed of light. But there's a problem. There aren't enough stars. The universe behaves as if the empty space between the stars contains something else. Something that we can't see, smell, touch or feel. And yet this something is holding the universe together. Without it, the motion of the stars and galaxies would be very different. Scientists call this mysterious stuff dark matter. But what is dark matter? And is it even real? Although we can't see it, scientists think that most of the mass of the universe is made of dark matter. And we think this because when we measure the speed at which galaxies rotate, we find that they're turning much faster than they would if they were just made of the stars and gases that we can see. So there must be something else there, otherwise the galaxies would just fly apart. And this something else is what the scientists call dark matter. Some scientists think that this missing mass might be hidden in black holes or neutron stars, but particle physicists like me think that a theory called supersymmetry might have the answer. Supersymmetry predicts new elementary particles, new fundamental building blocks of nature, and one of these is just right for making dark matter. Now, we haven't actually seen any supersymmetric particles yet, but we hope that a new experiment called the Large Hadron Collider will help us do just that.